The overall goal of these procedures is to characterize the general metabolic phenotype of mice and to specifically assess alterations in glucose metabolism in vivo. These methods can help answer key questions in the field of metabolism. They are representative and powerful tools to investigate the influence of genetic, pharmacological or dietary factors on glucose metabolism in vivo. The main advantage of these techniques is that they are relatively easy to perform. The day before the oral glucose tolerance test, transfer mice into a cage with fresh bedding and drinking water, but without food to fast them overnight before testing. The next day, prepare 10 milliliters of 20% glucose solution by diluting 45% D-glucose in distilled water. Then, prepare a plate for plasma collection by adding 5 microliters of sodium EDTA per time point for each mouse to the wells of a 96 wall plate. During the experiment, store this plate on ice. Next. Measure the body weight of all mice and mark their tails with a permanent marker to make the mice easily distinguishable. To collect blood for baseline sampling, use sharp scissors to carefully cut off 1 to 2 millimeters of the tail tip. Wipe off the first drop of blood to avoid hemolysis or contamination with tissue fluid before taking new blood samples for blood glucose determination. Draw a small blood sample for the measurement of the basal blood glucose level with the glucometer. Then collect a larger blood sample.